come in. Today we're going to talk about ebonized furniture. So, this is Brother Luca. I'm Tara Shaw. And, you know, I've been in a black mood, and that's not a bad mood. So, these are the treasures I have found in Europe that are ebonized. Now, I like ebonization, but I want to explain the process. This commode is an 18th century commode, and it is uh, French, bronze poles, but it has a painted finish. Now, ebonization started in the 16th century. It really became prevalent in the 19th century during Louis XVI, Marie Antoinette. So I love the fact that we have lacquered, hand-painted frame, geometric design. You're going to start to see the importance of ebonized furniture, especially in the 19th century when the elite started having their furniture ebonized or ebonized woods or using ebonized stains. If you come this way, here's an ebonized Swedish sundial. But here, these are Napoleon III candlesticks. So, Josephine and Napoleon also had the flair for ebonized furniture. And you're going to see that in some iron furnishings we have in the back. But look at the carryover. Here is an ebonized, brutalist coffee table, mid-century. Ebonized chests. So, ebony wood in the 19th century became very rare. So they started using stains and paints, but this is uh, the, ebonized, the ebonized leather with brass trim. This is an 18th century ebonized commode. I believe this was probably an ebonized stain or stain or paint. Now this is on walnut, which is a typical wood that they would use in that period. So I like the fact that they were they were hunting for something rare. They wanted something rare in their homes. ebonized iron. This is uh, Josephine's favorite, one of her favorite motifs, a lyre in iron. Now this is a newer commode. It is uh, probably 1920s, but you're going to see an ebonized high gloss or lacquer. Incredible bronze pulls, right? ebonized art stand. Look at the lion detail. So isn't that fantastic, that intricate carving? But the ebonization probably on this piece was a stain on the wood. Now currently we use a lot of ebony as well. These are Italian chairs that are ebonized, have an ebonized finish. If you come around, we're going to close it a little box. Nineteenth century, probably Napoleon the third has a little bone detail two drawers, but you're going to see the interior of this box is a mahogany. But the importance of 
ebony and ebonized furniture in your home, ebonized details, still prevalent today. I hope you stay tuned. Have a happy holiday. See you next week.